I'm excited because what time is it? I have two minutes before I get off work. And today is Friday, so it's gonna be the weekend. I don't have to work. Yay! But now y'all like today is gonna be like a little catching up video, you know. At least I'm I'm doing a little some something, so you know. I just wanna like play catch up with you guys because I miss you guys and I know you guys been wondering like where the hell is she like so I'm gonna do a little bit of catching up we got some catching up to do y'all so stay tuned hey you guys um I am excited to be on here and I really, I literally just pick up the camera and I just don't know <laughs> what the freak to like record. So I feel like my life isn't that interesting, but you know, I'm, I've really been going through a lot of like, you know, just trying to figure out how I'm going to have my channel. Basically, I, I don't, I don't know, like, but I think I really want to do more of like, I just got to get it together. I think I want to do more like advice videos just talking about different topics and you know having those uncomfortable conversations with y'all and you know making y'all feel welcome and making y'all feel like I'm that big sister y'all can come talk to you know um I know you're like why is this girl in a car and I'm just like you know I was supposed to have a date at 3 30 but you know my date is late because he had a haircut and yeah that's how it's going right now so i'm just waiting like you know you know how guys say like oh woman you always take a long time and blah, blah, blah. now look who's taking a long time i'm dressed and ready i was on a time schedule today y'all feel so productive today like i've i've i woke up at like seven o'clock went to the gym before that, I fixed me a smoothie and everything. Went to the gym, came home, cleaned up my room, meditated, got dressed. And I've started my day off great and I'm just feeling good today. So, <sighs> yeah. Oh, Kiana, like, why are you here? <laughs> you know, this, you guys, this video is really random. I'm just sitting in my car really bored and I just pick up the camera and just like, you know, why don't I talk to my subscribers, you know? So, um, yeah, this is a pretty random video. So I just wanted to get on here and, and, you know, tell you guys, let you know that there's content coming soon. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. We will catch up. Um, I actually just, I recently had a birthday and I just turned, um, 23 and I really want to do like a video, um, it's called like uh, 23 things I learned in 23 years. So stay tuned for that. I got a birthday vlog coming up, you guys. And all of my um, all of my bachelors slash losing affection supporters, like I, the review is coming. OK, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm coming. I have to catch y'all up on my life first. So I really, really don't want to end this. So, you know, I might just take you guys on, you know, a little journey with me today. You know, a little what today is Saturday journey, you know. Um, yeah, so let's just stay tuned and see what I get into today. OK, guys, I switched places and I love being a passenger for a day. I went to her name is Sierra K. That did my tattoos. Well, no, she doesn't do walk-ins. You have to get an appointment. I'm trying to get a traditional tattoo now. I'm not Ooh. trying to get the. Um... Hey, I look at what I thought. I like them. I like them tatted now. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I'm just sitting here blogging. LDA unavailable approximately 30. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to curse like that. Like I want my vocabulary to be more extensive. I want it to be more, you know, um, intelligent. Like I, I don't want to. I don't want to cuss every single sentence anymore. It's just like, you know, when you walk down the street and you just hear people be like, "Yeah, that motherfucker and such and bitch and hoes and shit and those fuckers and fucking fuck fucking shit, damn ho." <laughs> you know, it's not. It's like it's it's 
all funny and all for all funs and games but you know it's just like whenever you do it too much it kind of like all right you don't know any other like you don't know how to you know you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah so you want to like have an on and off switch on it huh? my mom was like no i'm not gonna be talking like that if it's like a friend and shit like that then well, yeah, I don't mind. Like, honestly, I'm going to be me regardless of where I'm around, whoever, whoever. But I just want to just, you know how they say kill people with kindness? I want to kill them with intelligence. Like, I want to say something real sarcastic and smart. I want to use a real big word and have people having to look on Google to understand what the heck I just said and how I just read them. That's how, that's how I want to be. I, I, I aspire to be like that. I downloaded this, uh this app called word of the day or something like that on my phone and every day like it um shares a word with me and i just kind of like you know yeah, yeah learn about it and try to memorize it and stuff so i'm trying to be i'm trying to be i'm trying to give goddess energy i'm trying to you know be on that you can't sit with me anymore. So the place we're going is called Ruby Gin, you guys. It's it's my favorite Filipino restaurant so far. I think it's the only restaurant we have, Filipino restaurant we have down here, honestly. It's the only Filipino restaurant we got. We do have more, but it's just... Oh, we have more. Okay, well, Ruby Gin is where it's at, okay? So if you stay in Pensacola or you come to Pensacola, you know, if you don't come to Pensacola, come, okay? Because Ruby Gin is really good, you know? Good but overpriced. Good but overpriced, but you know. You gotta you gotta have the review on there, the good and the bad. Good food. I mean overpriced. Yeah, but you get a good amount of food though. <laughs> okay, that's fair. But still it's, it's still overpriced in my opinion. I guess. Because I'm from the Philippines, I know. <laughs> What's my word of the day? Tang inamo. Oh? Tang inamo. <laughs> Okay, you gotta say it slow. Tang. Tang. Ina. Ina. Mo. Mo. Tang ina mo. Yeah. What that mean? You just basically curse. I just basically curse. Why are you trying to make me curse? And I'm not trying to curse no more. Oh my God. Yeah, that God is energy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Now, teach me a real word of the day. Um, say, kakain na tayo. Kakain na tayo. What I just said. We're about to eat. We're about to eat. Oh, kakani na tayo. Did I say right? Kakain na tayo sa ruby gin. Kakain na tayo sa ruby gin. Yeah, that means we're about to eat at the ruby gin. I'm, I'm. <laughs> okay, so, well, you gotta tell me this every day so I can, I can be stuck in my head. You gotta right. teach me words every day. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go eat, you guys. So. We're not sitting down at the table, you guys. Every time I come here, I get lemons and salt. And every, well, every time I come to a restaurant in general, I wear lemons and salt. Because it's just so delicious. And they, they, everybody looks at me crazy like, what are you going to do with that? And it's like, eat it. And what else am I going to do with it? Lighting is making my skin just glow. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm trying to stop cursing. Oh, my God. But a fly just landed on my lemon. Like, get your little tail on some before I get ready to eat, I want to show you guys usually what I usually get when I come to a Filipino restaurant. So, this is called sisig, and it's really good. It's basically like uh, fried pork, and it has like, I have the spicy sisig. So, it has an egg in there, it has onions, it has pork, it has peppers, and it's so good, y'all. And this is my favorite. It's, um, it's called Sinagon. And, oh, what am I doing? It's, it's actually this one they have a fish and a guy and they have a shrimp and I got the shrimp I love them both also they have like don't they have like pork in too yeah yeah they have a yeah but this is really like shrimp a sour a sour soup filled with like vegetables and shrimp it is so good y'all it's so good so if y'all ever come to like a Filipino restaurant or visit Ruby Jin here in Pensacola y'all you have to try that Sisig and Sinagon and usually this is how you like fix it usually uh filipinos eat rice with everything so you just you know get a little scoop off of there put it on your plate they have a bowl you put rice in there and then you know you just 
put the lotions in your plate.